Hello, uh, welcome to the Jenkins is the way Hackfest. Uh, today we have a session uh, uh, by Alisa Tong. Alisa is a uh, events officer in the Jenkins project, and uh, she will present uh, the Jenkins is the way program. Uh, Great, thanks, Oleg. So let me um, start by sharing my screen. Yeah, can you works. can you see my screen? Oops. Yes, we can. Okay, so it's okay in this mode, or do you want me to go into presenter mode? No, whatever works for you. If you okay. are going to navigate between links, you can just keep it as is. Okay, great. So, um, hi everybody. So my name is Alyssa. Um, I'm the events officer for the Jenkins project, and I've been with the project for quite a long time. Um, I want to say over 10 years. So today I just wanted to share with you uh, Jenkins is the way initiative. Um, what is this really about? Uh, why are we doing this? So let me move to my next slide. So Jenkins is the way um, initiative. Uh, what is this all about? Um, I mean, we all know that the Jenkins community is quite large. We know that there are many great things that people are doing with Jenkins all around the world. But we weren't really capturing any of this gold, right? So, um, so Jenkins is the way initiative came about to, is to capture, document, and share innovative everyday inventions that people are doing with the Jenkins technology. Um, how are we doing this? So we are doing this by collecting user stories, which are an abbreviated form of case studies. We're also collecting the traditional detailed case studies. Um, and we're also collecting um, um, two to five minute uh, videos, right? Very organic um, videos where what we want to do is um, consolidate these videos and make them into a larger video of testimonials, what people are doing with Jenkins and how it's um, benefiting them. Um, and then, you know, if none of the above, you know, works for you, we will definitely take referrals. So if you can just share the link there in the, on the slide uh, with, you know, people who has a compelling story, um, we'll take it. We'll, we'll, we'll take the referrals. Um, so you might ask how much time will this take? So a user story takes about 20 to 30 minutes to fill out the questionnaire. All you do is fill out the questionnaire and then we'll write up the story. Um, that's a user story. A case study takes a little bit more time. Um, so the, the initial step is filling out the questionnaire and then additional about 45 minutes um, of an in-depth uh, interview um, because a case study is, is more detail oriented. And then lastly, video should take about two to three seconds that you can take on your phone. Um, you know, just, just a testimonial, right? How, how, how Jenkins is, is helping you or how it's helping you solve a certain problem. And what we wanted to do is the goal is to, to consolidate all these videos and, um, and make it into a little bit of a longer video with all the people saying great things about Jenkins and preferably if we can get, you know, your videos that's organic, that's in front of a, a landmark. And so once we put all that together, we have, you know, a global setting. So I think that would be really fun for us to do. And then of course, doing any of this will get you one of those t-shirts. It's limited edition, so, um, so please do share. Um, and then, you know, I mentioned about the website. Uh, let me go there right now. Can you see the website? Great. So this is where you can fill out the survey. This is where you can view user stories. We currently have um, a list of user stories. So you can read through all of that. We're still working on um, 
adding to this list. So we're hoping that, you know, um, that to get to add your stories on here as well. Uh, we also have case studies um, listed on here. So um, we're definitely, we need more case studies. But this is where you can find pretty much everything that's related to this initiative. Let me go back to my deck. And then um, some of the testimonials that we did receive out of this, um, uh, of this uh, initiative, which, you know, we thought it wouldn't be, uh, you know, it, it wouldn't be good on our part not to share all the, this great things that people are saying about Jenkins. And so we want to get more of these. We want to get a big collection of this if possible. So um, some of the things that people are saying about Jenkins is like Jenkins rocks because of the huge number of integration possibilities and plugin available as well as huge community and resource available. We chose Jenkins because it is battle tested and has community support like no other. Literally, there is nothing that can't be achieved using Jenkins. Jenkins is an essential part of our workflow and allows more than would be manually possible. And I like this one. Jenkins has all the key ingredients required to be successful, powerful, flexible, scalability, and community. So those are just some of the things that people have been saying about Jenkins in their stories. So as I, like I said, we, um, we want to collect more of these. So let us know your thoughts, either by, you know, filling out the questionnaire or by video. We will greatly appreciate that. So there you have it. Submit your story. JenkinsIsTheWay.io. Okay. And um, Jenkins is the way. So this is about this hack fast. It's to improve user interface, improve user documentation, and please spread the word about Jenkins is the way initiative. And then we have great prizes and um, swag to send your way for to thank you for your participation. Um, recently, uh, last month, uh, we worked with Comic Strip. Um, to release a new Jenkins um, comic. And we thought, you know, in light of what's happening today, uh, it would be good for us to have something fun to, to look at and just, you know, um, to smile at. So we came up with a comic strip uh, that is all about Jenkins and we will be doing this on a monthly basis. So um, there should be one that's going to be coming out this month. So look out for that. Um, like I said, it's monthly, so um, keep an eye out for, uh, for our next release. So, of course, Jenkins always needs help uh, with participation from folks within the community. So, we want you to share with us your stories, how you're using Jenkins. Um, write user case studies and um, feature overviews via blogs and other resources. Those are greatly welcome and appreciated. Post about your Jenkins experience and new features using Jenkins is the way hashtag. And then we're also always looking for um, speakers for our online meetup. So let us know what stories that, um, how we can help broadcast your stories. And then, of course, record your videos and we'll publish them. So how to contact us, um, advocacy and outreach, uh, SIG, we have the list there. There's um, chat channels, mailing list, and we also have regular meetings, which you can also find on Jenkins.io. And that is it for me. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thanks, Alisa, for your presentation. Um, we granted uh, voice permissions to everyone uh, on the call. So if you want to ask a question, uh, just uh, do that. And we will be happy to answer them. So, Alisa, are there, are there particular, for, okay, me, are there particular spaces where you think, oh, it'd be interesting to have something from this? I know my, my 
I've got a family member who works in a robotics company. I want that story. I think it's cool. Robotics is cool, but I know other people who work in retail or who work in, in industries that people may not realize, oh, there's a lot of software in that particular space and it's probably being helped by Jenkins. We will take every stories and um, in every space. So I think, I think everybody has a compelling story to share. So, um, you know, the more that we can get, the more in any other spaces that we can get, it's all, always welcome. Right. And also, Jenkins, it's not just about software. It can be any other automation, this case, hardware, DevOps, home automation, account automation, whatever. In my case, yeah, first uh, three years with Hudson, uh, I haven't really been testing any software there, I would say. It was mostly about hardware at the time for me. And yeah, if you want to share such uh, stories, why not? It's also yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Good point. I was talking to an audio engineer a day or two ago and that the audio business, of course, they do a lot of signal processing and all of the sound that they deal with. There's there's elements of computing there that, that is automatable and automation and they're using Jenkins heavily. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so um, are there any other questions uh, to Alisa? Send me your stories, please. Yeah, please do so. Uh, yeah, the, and yeah, maybe, yes. So Alyssa, is there, there may be folks on the call who are not as comfortable with English written or spoken. Is there any way we can help those who may say, oh, hey, I may write something that's grammatically flawed into your pages. What, what's going to happen with that? That's a great question, Mark. Um, we will definitely take, we actually have had quite a few of those stories. Uh, we do have a team of writers that will uh, work to clean up the, the English uh, and then we'll write it up, we'll give it back to the, um, the person who filled out the questionnaire to review for accuracy. And once we have the th thumbs up, then we publish it. Okay, so if even if English is not my first language, I can provide it in in as good English as I can, and your team will worry about turning it into something, and I still get to review it afterwards to be sure that I'm okay with the way you've rephrased or the way you've you've taken my wording. Yes, Excellent. that's absolutely correct. And uh, if it's not English, uh, it's still possible to publish it. Maybe not through the Jenkins' uh, the way program, but we can find other resources. So yeah. if you want to publish uh, content in other language, uh, let us know. We will try to help as well. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. For all uh, kinds of such questions, please reach out uh, to us in Advocacy and Outreach uh, Special Interest Group channel because yeah, we will be able to help uh, to provide uh, proper uh, contacts and yeah, we will be able to answer any question. Uh, so we've got a number of questions uh, in uh, Zoom q &A. So the first question is, will you be sharing um, uh, these slides? Yes, you can definitely yeah. share it. Yep, uh, so we will uh, share them uh, right after the meeting. Same, uh, we will share uh, them, uh, uh, share the recording. So uh, stay tuned uh, and we will publish that. Another question uh, is uh, uh, from uh, Philippa is uh, how uh, to send the stories exactly? So I'm typing that my response up right now, Oleg. So I will mm -hmm. have the link in the uh, in my response. Oh, okay. and I think it's just Jenkins is the way .io, right? That's and, correct. And there's there are forms right there that will gather the data. So if I open that web page and there's a, a link that will let me start entering the the answers. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Most likely it won't work. It doesn't work for me. Uh, try clearing your cookies is definitely not the best idea during the meeting. Okay, it doesn't work in incognito mode anyway. So if somebody else uh, wants to uh, screen share, it would be appreciated. I am, I am happy to do that. Hang on just a minute while I drag something into place. 
Okay. So now we will see how Mark submits the story, right? Exactly. Well, and, and Mark's done this, so that, happy to do it again. Jenkins is the way. Can you see my screen? Are you seeing the one that has my browser on it? Yes, we can see your screen. All right, so here's... <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, HTT, oh, it would help if I could spell, now wouldn't it? Is has an I in it, just so everyone... Jenkins. <laughs> Okay, so you get uh, well, you get another issue. Not I just have fat fingers. Oh, like I apologize. I obviously could not type. <laughs> All right. Okay, so it's on the left here, right? What is yep. it? And then I it's... click the big button here that says "Take right. our simple survey." Yep. That's so if it. I click that, it's going to put me into a series of questions. Now my screen is is not giving it all the advantage that it should. So. I'm going to start answering questions. So first is, am I ready to go? Yeah, I am. Let's go ahead and okay. Oops, I, okay, continue. So what size? I need a men's t-shirt and embarrassingly enough, I need XL, I'm Mark Waite and it goes like this. So I'm a technical evangelist and this could get really boring. So, but it's, that's how it works. It, yeah. Oh, you but I'll, I'm, absolutely. We have to have that because otherwise don't know how to contact you. So there's me. Okay. And uh, let's see. So let's add with cloud bees. And now I say save answers and go next. And it just starts asking me questions. Yeah. So what is the project's name? In my case, it was a little bit of, bit of hardware. Cloudbees. What's that? At Cloudbees? Oh, no, you're right. I have to, that's, you're right. Oh, whatever. It, it's a different story, right? It's documentation, documentation as code would be a, a good Cloudbees story. Okay. And uh, automating delivery. Let's see, what industry of business type? So this is computer mm -hmm. software. And company name, Cloud Bees, website, and the project website. I'm not sure I've got one of those that's public. So Alyssa, is it okay that I don't answer the public website? Um, yeah. Okay, well, and, and I, I can always go back and answer it. Let's see, it was this one, training.cloudbees.com. This site right here, for example, ah, it's offline at the moment, but th those are the sites that we were dealing with. So yes. I'll have to get that. I know that some, um, the folks who have submitted in the past, some projects does not have its own project website. So we don't right. have that information. So we can put in. Yeah, right. So this is no funding provided, no, no need for a separate organization to note. It's a global organization. And other team members, yeah. So Meg, for instance, and Roman. And they were, oh, it needs name and name, Meg, author, Roman, infrastructure. Yeah, so the, the reason for this question is to highlight other um, people within the team that's contributing to this project, but also that we also wanted to send them a t-shirt as well. Cool. Okay. And so we continue. And now development platforms. In my case, it was Linux. And no Docker and Kubernetes. That's oh, oh, you're uh, right. No it one. was, oh, you're right. It was Docker. It definitely. Yeah. You're, okay. So Oleg proved that there, I can go back and correct mistakes. I like that. And I was yeah. running on Windows, but we won't admit that. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're interested to know more about uh, the story by Mark, they were presenting the uh, training as code at the uh, DevOps World Jenkins World Lisbon. So we should have a recording somewhere, right? We, we do, in fact. Uh, Roman was, was quick enough to keep a recording of it. See, in which build tools, and we used other build tools. So in our case, it was Dockerized and Tora, if I remember it. It was Docker and uh, Custom custom, oh, it was custom ASCII doc with 
So, and we can certainly end here, Oleg. There's plenty that's that's been shown here. This was ASCII doc mm -hmm. and Docker. And the goal was training delivered as code, as code delivered to users. The challenge was uh, delivering infrastructure all the way to AWS installations for slides and labs. So it's that that straightforward. We just keep going. And what was our solution? It was Jenkins training with labs delivered from our GitHub repositories. Okay. And I don't know that I need to continue. Like, are you feeling like I should continue? I can happily stop there. And I'll well, finish this after the meeting. Yeah, I think uh, you can uh, do it later. And uh, thanks for doing that. <laughs> you bet. So, yeah, the next question uh, is uh, how would I uh, know if my user story is selected? Um, we actually do not uh, reject any user stories. Um, so, if you complete the whole questionnaire and we have everything we need, then we will, it'll probably take us about two weeks to get it written up because right now we have a bit of a back backlog. Um, so we're not rejecting any stories. If it's completed, then we will write it up. Yeah, uh, one thing to mention is that uh, if you really touching his code of conduct, like doing Zoom bombing, then no, sorry. Mm. Uh, right. Okay. Correct. <laughs> Good point, Oleg. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, let's uh, continue. Uh, then uh, there is a question uh, from Philippe. Uh, uh, I'm having uh, trouble accessing the Jenkins is the way website in my region. So I guess you hit exactly the same issue as me because I also cannot access it right now. So we will need to figure out it out what, uh, what's going on. So something uh, is going on in Europe, I guess. Not sure why. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, things happen because yeah, we use CDN, I guess. So maybe it's just an issue with CDN. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we will figure out, it out and get it fixed. Okay, any other questions? Okay, uh, if not, yeah, thanks Alisa for doing this presentation. It's much appreciated. And again, uh, we invite everyone uh, to share your stories about uh, Jenkins. Uh, there are multiple ways to do that. Uh, yeah, Jenkins is the way is our recommendation, but you can also write a blog post for Jenkins IO or for other resources. For example, if you use medium.com, you still can do that. And uh, just let us uh, know if you share something during the Hackfest. You can also just post your experience about the Jenkins in social media, for example, in Twitter and LinkedIn. Uh, if we use uh, Jenkins as the way hashtag, uh, you can uh, find a number of stories here already uh, and some images like, for example, Jenkins is the way comics. So you can just post it and we will uh, try to capture that and uh, uh, also repost and republish uh, when applicable. And also, we have Jenkins Online Meetup. So if you want to join and present your story, uh, we have uh, yeah, we are doing uh, many events here, Jenkins Online Meetups. You uh, 
have seen this page, I guess, because this is how we post events, including this training session. And if you're interested to present, uh, we have a page on Jenkins.io, uh, which describes uh, uh, how to contribute. Uh, so for example, if you're a speaker, you can just contact us using advocacy and outreach special interest group. We have a public CFP process. If you want to host a meetup, for example, if you're an event organizer and you need online meetup platform, taking the current situation is uh, quite reasonable. Uh, we are also happy to help you. Please let us know. So it's also a part of the promotion, and we would appreciate um, if you share your stories about Jenkins at uh, such platforms. Same if you want to just record a video. So you can uh, record short video, share it with Alisa. It would be integrated into a key study. If you want uh, to make a longer video, it's also possible. For example, we have a YouTube channel uh, for Jenkins and uh, there is a lot of videos published there. If you let us know, we will again get it published. Okay, any questions, uh, comments? Okay, so yeah. The chat is also bloated, right? Okay. Okay, sorry about that. At least uh, we definitely know a number of uh, participants who want to get uh, Jenkins t shirts. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so yeah, I think we should just uh, close up the session because yeah, I can kick everyone, uh, but yeah. I think let's let's call an end to the session. If nothing else, we have at least one person who has violated our code of conduct. I think that's let's let's mm -hmm. call it done. Record, save the recording. We can edit out parts portions as needed, Oleg. And I'm happy to mm -hmm. help with the editing if that if you need it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you all, and I'll stop the recording. Okay. Thanks, Oleg. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye.